words. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gladianne from Heart Take the Wheel, and today we are going to chat about that flat lay tripod among other products people ask me about all the time. Let's get started. <laughs> this backpack is definitely on the list. So it's a very simple backpack. It's cheap. It's found on Amazon, or hopefully it is. I was told it might not be there anymore. I'll see what I can find. Um, the reason why I get a lot of questions about it is because it's so cheap, because I've traveled with it. I used it as my personal item in the, under the seat in front of me in an airplane. I'm not guaranteeing that all airlines will accept that size. Um, and it holds a camera and a laptop. So it's pretty cool. You can convert it from being a camera bag to being a regular full size backpack. So that's also a bonus. And it's pretty minimal looking. It doesn't like, it's not crazy. It's pretty awesome and comfortable. So I get a ton of questions about my glasses. These ones are the blue ones. These are the clear ones. And these are the green ones. I have several others, but I get a ton of questions about where they are from. So to answer that question, I get my glasses from I Buy Direct. And I like that because I like changing up my style a lot. So these are quite affordable. And you can get them with or without prescription, which is great for product, or not product, but props for photos and for people who like to wear um, contacts but still like the look of glasses if you're wearing them for fashion or you need them for a shoot. Um, they're pretty pretty awesome. There's tons of styles. They're always updating it. You can even get sunglasses So I recommend them. They're fun. They're affordable So check them out if you need some uh, pretty sweet looking specs My lighting gear is next on the list and I'm not going into too many details because I recently did a YouTube video on natural versus artificial light So I in that video showed you some of the different things I use in my lighting setup and I gave you tons of links So if that's something you are interested in check out the video props they I get questions about the props in my stock photos and my product styling photos and all sorts of stuff and just things in my home when people come to visit the studio so I can't obviously list where I get everything but maybe in a future video I can do like where I like to source my props let me know if you're interested in something like that my overalls so I have recently acquired some overalls you probably know this because I like to wear them a lot and I have a I did like a photo session of me in the overalls because I thought it was quite fitting so um, those specific overalls were purchased from Hollister on clearance so I have no idea if they are still available I'll see if I can find them I have also noticed a lot of local boutiques like clothing boutiques will carry items like overalls or cute high waist shorts or whatever so you might want to check there first to support local business but by all means I'm sure you can also find them at places like H&M, Hollister and uh, Forever 21 no guarantees though this phone tripod setup that I use for my Instagram lives made the list. Um, this is kind of overkill for a phone tripod because this happens to be the DSLR GorillaPod from Joby. So it is overkill, but this is my favorite tripod from uh, Joby. I have several and I just like to use this one. Um, for all of my you know on the go like tripod needs it packs up nicely it's really sturdy um, and of course it'll fit my phone and my tripod so it kind of kills two birds with one stone when I'm traveling which is great my phone and my tripod I literally just said that my phone and my camera <laughs> anyways of course these two are separate items I will link the you know specifics but please do the research to see which um, phone mount would work best for your phone. I get questions about the little square photos that are often behind me during my lives or my videos when I'm in the office. Those are prints from Parabo, Parabo. Anyways, I don't know how to pronounce them. I'll give you the link. They have an app and I think you could still, I don't know if it's something they still do, but I'm pretty sure that they were giving where you could like get 20 free insta photos or something I don't know check them out I also got that giant engineer print of the cactus that's also kind of on my wall on the opposite side I had to cut off a ton of it because the engineer prints are freaking huge and I didn't actually have a space for the full-sized print so I had to cut it to fit the uh, space I did have 
Anyways, check out Parabo or Parabo Press or whatever. I'll give you the link to their site. They also have a mobile app if I didn't already mention that and uh, get some Insta photos printed. Here we have my Moo business cards. They are upside down. <laughs> Next up are these business cards. I hand drew the elements on them. There are two different designs, but you can get up to 50 designs from Moo. This is the, um, the business cards with the foil, the gold foil printing on them, which is perfect because that's my branding is gold and green. So that is what I did. I also did the soft matte with square, but they have other choices. You can get rounded corners or moo size cards, which are slightly smaller than the standard business card size, but you can also get that. You can get rounded corners or square corners. You can get matte or glossy. Go check out Moo for some marketing materials and uh, you won't be disappointed. I mean, the freaking printing, I was so worried because my teeny tiny details of my leaves, I was worried that they might like I don't know, bleed into one another, but they did fantastic. So I love and always get my business cards from Moo. And last but not least, the flat lay tripod. I get so many questions about, and I answer them every time. It's such a common question. I have made it a permanent link in my Instagram bio links. Um, at least as of this recording, it's still there. And uh, cause I get questions about it all the time. Sometimes it's available, sometimes it's not on Amazon, but if you're doing research for a tripod that can do that flat lay view, it's called a 90 degree column. So definitely make sure you use those keywords to find the right tripod that's doing the functionality you're looking for. Cause searching flat lay tripod probably doesn't get you as far as searching a tripod with a 90 degree column. So that's what it's called and this one is specifically the Manfrotto 190 Go and I'll give a link if they are available but you could do your own research. It came with a ball head. I will caution you with this ball head that came with it. It's a standard ball head. It's not super fancy so it doesn't have any features to help you be completely level and when you're shooting flat lays having the camera flat to the scene is kind of important. Eyeballing it works quite well. However, if you're trying to make it, you know, flat, then I often use a level. I just put it on top of the camera and it gives me a very good idea as to, you know, what tilt and angles and whatever that I need to fix. So just letting you know on that, but I love it. And I'm also going to be buying another one soon, not the same kind, cause might as well have two different kinds of tripods just in case, whatever, whatever. And um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on what turns up uh, uh, with that. So there you have it. Those are the things, the products that I get asked about the most. And I hope that this was helpful for you. If I didn't list something that you were hoping that I would, definitely leave a comment and I will um, address that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.